This episode of The Arena, a multi-platform gaming news podcast extra take, is brought to you by, well, of course, you. If you want to learn more about how you could support the show, go to patreon.com slash the arena underscore podcast. Hey everybody, welcome into the extra take we're doing here on Patreon at patreon.com slash the arena underscore podcast. This is our new format. Uh, I'm your host, Expat, along with my co-host, Burley of Burleyman Gaming on Twitch. Burley, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, doing good. How are you, Expat? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's been a while since we've done an extra take episode, so uh, I just want to let everybody know out there and all our patrons, obviously, uh, that know about extra take. But uh, those of you that don't know, extra take is our supplemental series that we do for the Arena Multiplatform Gaming News podcast, where we do a review of a particular game. And in this episode, we're going to be going over Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, uh, yeah, uh, Burley has played this game, and so we're going to be talking about it, giving a gameplay review, and there will be some spoilers in it, and in the heading uh, later on, I'm going to uh, put that it's, uh, you know, it's spoilers. We're not going to give spoilers to everything, but there will be spoilers, so, you know, if you have not played Pokemon Legends Arceus yet, uh, we recommend that you finish the game first and then come back and watch our review of this. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Burley, uh, he's played all of this and he's provided a lot of the gameplay footage for us. So I'm going to be uh, asking a lot of questions about this game because I have not played this game. So uh, we shall uh, go ahead and get started. But uh, before we get into the video footage, Burley, I want to ask you one question about this game. What makes this one like pokemon legends rcs how how is it different from other pokemon games okay uh this is kind of a long-winded answer so no problem uh, uh your trip your typical pokemon game your story is you going for all eight beating all the gyms eight gyms in the region and then going to become pokemon league champion and mm -hmm. going up, beating the eight gyms, then going through the Elite Challenge, beating the Elite Four and the uh, Pokemon current Elite Champ. Okay. That, that's your typical story. Mm -hmm. This, however, you're not. This, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're brought into this world. Mm -hmm. um, and your whole thing is you're trying to figure out a way to get back home and kind of just do stuff. At, the Pokedex has just been invented. So mm -hmm. you don't have the entries as soon as you catch it. So... You're trying to catch as many Pokemon as you can to start filling up the Pokédex. Mm -hmm. So that way you can have an easier time and go through. Okay. All right. And, and learn more. And you're just doing story missions, going through the different areas of the, the Sinnoh region, but the, it's not really fully known as Sinnoh yet. They mm -hmm. call it the He Suite. Mm -hmm. So you're exploring all that. Okay. Okay. Uh Another question uh, for those who have not played this game. Uh, how long of a game is Pokemon Legends Arceus? Um, if you're going straight plot, mm -hmm. you could probably do this in about 15 to 20 hours. Okay. Which is uh, about the average for, for Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and move to our screen for the gameplay. So Burley can go ahead and uh, take it away and uh, talk about some of this. So here we go. So this is kind of like the loading screen at the very beginning. But uh, anyway, OK, yeah. so Burley, take it away. Where are we now? We're in Jubilee Village. If you've ever been to uh, you played Diamond and Pearl or or uh, platinum this is the one of the main villages in the, okay and this just to show you the Sinnoh region this is me pulling up the pokedex just showing how many pokemon i've caught mm -hmm. and here's a spoiler okay um, so spoilers because, everyone okay. so you see typhlosion here a gen 2 pokemon but as i'm going through here you're seeing it looks different and it's got a different typing 
It's mm. because in the Hisui region, the starters each have different evolutions, final forms, that give them different typing. But as you see here, I'm going through the little menus on here to show you, A, it looks different, but that you can change moves on the fly. You can go back to your previous moves. Usually in Pokemon, you have your four moves. Those are set. That That is what it is. You're, you're stuck. You can't change them. You have to go back to what is known as the uh, move raider. Mm -hmm. And then give him uh, either in... I think later generations started, I think it was with Gen 4, started with, you have to give him the heart scale to get it, get him mm. to relearn a previous old move. This, they didn't do that, which is very, very nice. Okay. And just me throwing my Pokemon out there, so showing you can just throw your Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And earlier you saw me pull up the one menu, yep. and it's just showing you the quests. Uh huh. Because you can do a lot of side requests. Now here's something I, I I show you here quickly, briefly there, but I think I believe I get it to in, later in the footage is when you die, you lose you lose some of your items and it's called a lost packet. I and see. then when you go to these maps, you can find the lost packets, get mm -hmm. them, send them back to the trainer. So when they load up their file, they get their items, but you get a, what are known as points that you can, special points you can use at a certain shops, a certain mm. shop. Okay. So this is just me. You have a mount. You can unlock mounts in the game. Mm. Ride Pokemon, whatever you want to call them, because they changed the name. And this is okay. me throwing Typhlosion here, interacting. I and it got me some items that I used for crafting. Okay. But I also got some experience. And here I can't catch this Geodude there because you saw the little red X. So mm -hmm. it wants me to battle him. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go in the grass here. Okay. And I've got my great balls out, and I'm just seeing, ah, there's a little Starly there. So we can just do this to catch, instead of the old way of going to a battle, either throwing a Pokeball first turn, right. or weakening it down and keep trying to catch it. Now, it seems like in this game, Burley, you're doing mostly a lot of catching of Pokemon instead of battling other trainers. Is that... Yeah, is tra that trainer, that tra there's very few trainer battles. I think there's maybe, I had about 15 in the main story. Okay. Which, if you, you think of a Pokemon game, 15 for the whole story, mm -hmm. that's really light. You're either doing some game hack, shark, or doing little hacks and stuff to skip every trainer. Uh, question for you. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, can you nickname your Pokemon? Yes. And one of the nice things is, is the old games, you had to nickname. You had to nickname when you either had to nickname them when you as soon as you caught them. Or went into the name writer and so this you can constantly just rename you just go to that summary page at the beginning of the footage i showed mm -hmm. and it says change nickname and there was just me showing the the uh satchel and taking it in and the big one there that we got the red eyes here are known as alphas <laughs> you can catch fire them right, but yeah. you have yeah. to battle you have to battle well it's actually hyper beam oh hyper beams water. okay <laughs> yeah, they're, wa they're water types. I see. Uh -huh. So me just getting into a little battle. Mm -hmm. The battle system has quite changed. Mm. So you see on there, in the top, you see the attack order. So showing, right. and me going diff with my different moves there, I'm seeing how they affect with my turn order. Okay. And then I did something called Agile Style here. When you, you get your moves, the higher you level up your Mon, their moves will level up as well. So instead of them getting stronger, what they do is you master a move. Once you master a move, you get the agile style version of the move mm -hmm. and also the strong style. Agile style means you could potentially go quicker, mm. go again quicker. Strong style will increase your damage. So I, I forgot you have to turn this on every time you log back in. Uh. You can press the Y and you can see, like you can see, it's base 80 power, but when I went to strong style, mm -hmm. went to 105. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing how how it affects it. And you get little like short burbs of if it causes any secondary effects. And then you mm -hmm. see there, it says number of defeated. That's your research. I see. Because mm. you get things on what are called stars. And the higher research you can have, the higher level Pokemon you can catch and obey you, as mm. well as getting the ability to craft I see. And me just filling this out. 
Okay. So you get a little, this is how you get your money in the game. Mm -hmm. Normally you would just get your money from battling trainers and gym leaders. In this game, you don't, do, you don't do that. Question for you, Burley. How many side quests uh, are in this game? I have no clue. There's probably over 100 side quests. Wow. I okay. probably did about 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. But like some of them, like some are just like, you know, find me these items. Some mm -hmm. are, hey, I need this. Like battle these Pokemon here. Mm -hmm. And then just some are like complete the Pokedex mm. entry for this mod. Mm. So you got to catch and battle a lot of them. Okay. And this is me showing this guy off. Now this guy here, Baggin, your inventory is quite limited in this game, more so mm -hmm. than others, and you have to keep coming to this guy mm -hmm. and spending more and more money and every time he unlocks one more inventory slot. Interesting. So like in this okay. game, you're you're gonna wanna constantly pick up items, but you're gonna also want to constantly, as soon as you pick up shit, go throw it in the storage container mm -hmm. because you'll never you don't have much much space. Mm. I see. Mm. And the crappy thing is, like, if you're full, you can't mm -hmm. just auto teleport your stuff to storage. You have to go to the storage box itself and fill it. Mm -hmm. Except for if you complete a side quest. Side mm. quests they do show. They I will see. auto go. And this is just me showing different regions. I'm going to the ice region here. Mm hmm. I don't go to all the regions, but I just wanted to show a couple so you can hear different things. Right, right. So what's the max level you can reach in this game, Burley? Uh, 100. 100, okay. Yeah, that's your standard. And this is just showing you, you can't just instantly go to the village. You have to go talk to the uh, professor there. And here's me going to the craft table. So mm -hmm. you see me crafting some great balls here. And just showing you some of the options that I have because I don't have max research level yet. Right. I can't craft everything. There's my item storage and just me moving items. Wow. Yeah. You sure can. You sure can carry a lot. It seems like. Yeah. Well, I've spent so much time because of catching uh -huh. that I've had to buy. You only have like two or three rows of items. Ah. Uh. Spots at the beginning of the game. Okay. And then here are you resting. Mm hmm. This is how you heal your Pokemon. You don't have Pokemon centers because this is in a time uh -huh. where Pokemon and humans don't necessarily fully get along. I see. Uh -huh. So now me evening. Unfortunately, you really can't tell much of a difference with this map. Right. I kind of realized that as soon as I did this. Mm. It looks like you're what level sixty four at this point. Yeah, my one mon's okay. level 64. I see. And then you just see me swapping my mons, uh, mm -hmm. my mounts on the fly, which is nice because mm -hmm. you literally just hit uh, left and right on the D-pad. I mm -hmm. don't have to, I don't have to go into them, get off the mount, change the mount, and mm -hmm. repress the uh, plus button. Mm -hmm. Can you mass release Pokemon in this game, Burley? No. 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 Okay. And here's something that it shows. I have to go back to the village. This is something I do not like. And I have to go back to the village each time to go to another wild area. I can't just go from one wild area to another. And ah, in this one, we saw the little growlet icon up there. Mm -hmm. That means there's an outbreak there. Mm. So what that means, you'll see a second in my map. It means a lot of growlith are spawning. In a certain mm. area you have mm -hmm. a higher chance of catching shinies mm. and just getting and just having a mass of them spawn up so you can catch mm. Mm. now as we're watching me just right away here you can mm -hmm. kind of notice graphically this game is it's not too good mm. this yeah is the water doesn't look so great here like the last couple of pokemon titles they put out Mm -hmm. New Pokemon Snap, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, right. Pokemon Sword and Shield put this right. game to a shame. Wow. Like some of the models, because I couldn't I couldn't show them. Because mm -hmm. uh, I forgot to go get them on my Pokedex, but like Tangela in in particular, mm -hmm. it looks just bad. Like Wow. Like, huh. and I, I don't know how they released that. Like, <laughs> if 
if this was owned by Microsoft or PlayStation, I think it would be like, no, 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 you, you're not releasing this till you fix this. Like, yeah. So I, I, I don't know if it's just a problem with their engine. Like, I, I give them a little bit of leeway because this is a different style of Pokemon game than they've made over the past, like, so long. So this but is a like, different engine than they made for Diamond and Pearl? I, be I believe so. I'm not 100% okay. sure. Okay. Hmm. And I find going stealthy is your best way to try and catch. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I, it also helps you with research tasks. Mm. But this is just me pulling because when you have a Pokemon selected with ZL, you mm -hmm. can hit down and you can see all the research tasks you need to go do. Mm. I see. Yeah. Nothing. Me just going into battles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number you've defeated with water moves is crowd yeah. with this uh, fire type, so <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. That's pretty cool. So yeah, just drown drown the little pup. Yeah. yeah. And them attacking me. That's the thing. Yeah. Pokemon can kill you <laughs> in mm. this game. Uh, right. They will attack you and while you have that little red line there, you cannot fast travel. Wow. Okay. So you have to wait. Is fast travel limited to your character, or do you have an unlimited amount of fast travels? You have unlimited, but the thing is, is you can only fast travels to the base camps in the area. Oh, okay. Okay. Or anything that has the fast travel, like, feather icon. I see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, because I'm still on the side light of Pokemon attacking me, mm -hmm. I'm just finding a way to get out so I don't, I can fast travel. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you've got to get quite far away. Like here, I should be fine because mm -hmm. they're all the way up the top. But it took till I got near the last like bottom step before I could fly away. Mm. Let's see. So how do how do you feel about the the control? Uh, you know the control maps and everything for this game, Burley. Is it is it pretty easy to control, or did you have any? like areas that uh, gave you some difficulties with the controller or anything? Not or with any, the Joy-Cons? No, 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 no. Well, I, see, I use the 8-Bit Duo Pro. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, give me a sec, because I can show it. It's like a Super Nintendo controller. I see. Oh, okay. If you if you want a good controller for your Switch and it won't break the bank, they've gone up in price now. I but see. the 8-Bit Duo Pro, uh, SN30 Pro, mm -hmm. highly, highly recommend it. It's better than the Pro Controller. I, I don't mind the Nintendo Pro Controller, but this thing has a wicked D-pad. Uh, okay. And I bought it for Mario Maker, and I do not regret. This is me going to your boxes, but mm -hmm. they call them pastures here. Mm. And unfortunately, sometimes when you walk around here, you can see your Pokemon that you've caught just wandering around in here. Mm -hmm. But no. When I record, of course, when I go to record, <laughs> no, none of my Pokemon there. They're hiding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like hiding in the bushes or something like that, yeah. Yeah, and all the little things above the people's help, uh, heads, those are your requests. Yeah. So you can go talk to them, get your little mission. Yeah. The rewards uh, wager from good to eh. It all depends on the quest you're doing. I see. And yeah, so, this looks uh, like... Uh, like late Edo period style uh, of a village. Yeah. It's interesting. Like uh, maybe mid 1800s. Okay. And right, yeah. right, right there before I went to the battle, yeah. you saw me hitting the L and R at the bottom and seeing my Pokemon change mm -hmm. because I'm going into a trainer battle and okay. it's that at that bottom order there is how you start your Pokemon. Oh. It doesn't matter who what one you have set mm -hmm. in the menu when you go if you press the up arrow because right. they changed it from start to up arrow mm -hmm. for whatever dumb reason mm -hmm. um but here so here you'll notice something different i take out the first mod usually mm -hmm. you get the switch option in pokemon they're about to switch to this you can okay. now switch you mm -hmm. do not get this in this game okay. so 
because of the whole they changed the whole battling system. So the mm -hmm. battles are much harder in this game. Yeah. So you just see me switching. Mm -hmm. But because I have a quicker kind of mod, I can see I, I got my chance to go in. Because when you switch, it's not always a guarantee you're gonna get in and do the dip, get the hit. It mm -hmm. all depends on your speed, your moves, and all that. There's a lot of factors, so battles are are a lot harder than they normally are. Mm. I see. So me using agile style crunch here, I do less damage, mm -hmm. but I get to go a second time in a row, so I can switch my mon that's almost right, my futsal here that's about to die, throw mm -hmm. in my lux right here, mm. and do do my own attack here to knock it out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, your your strategy and battles here. Like this is it back in Jubilife here. You have this after you get near to the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You can use these trainers so you can level yourself up. Mm. Because like some of the higher level Pokemon in the wild, I, I had a hard time not them always spawning when I wanted to to grind levels. So mm -hmm. I found this the best way. Okay. And you've noticed for Pokemon players here, when I knocked out a Pokemon. I didn't get XP from mm. the trainer. So how it works now is after you win the battle, that's when you get the EXP. I see. Hmm. So you'll see here, like all my mon will get a quite a there bit you of go. EXP. Yeah. So what you can do for like this, if I wanted to grind one Pokemon, I get his last mon, the last little bit of health, switch mm -hmm. out my mon, let them die and all that. Mm -hmm. And then just let let whatever Pokemon I want to win the battle win, and get a ton of XP because it gets the XP from all the other battles. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And this is your multiplayer uh, lady, so you can use her for the multiplayer points and buy different items. Mm -hmm. And they have the old Game Boy Link cord there, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool because it's homage to the original Game Boy Link cables back in the day. Mm -hmm. But you can use it. If you don't have people to trust, but you you want to use it for, let's say, Haunter into Gengar, mm -hmm. or Machoke into Machamp, you can use mm -hmm. it and you don't need another person. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, that, so the thing is, is like, there's only so much I could show. Like, the one yeah. thing I tried getting footage, mm -hmm. is I also, I cut some out, because it was mm -hmm. just another five to ten minutes being going to the other regions and trying to get the um for what the exact uh you get this little dome will come down okay and more aggressive but items and stuff will pop but i couldn't seem to get any of them when i'm okay, recording i'm like hmm. i could spend two hours trying to record and get none of this i'm like okay right right so if you had to rate this burly from a scale of one to ten ten being the highest score what would you give Pokemon Legends Arceus? Uh, see, this is where I, I've been struggling. What do I give this? Mm -hmm. Because this is a really good game, but there are problems. Like, gra graphically, I have to take a point for the graphics. That, mm -hmm. that, that has to be tough. Taking a gra uh, point there. Mm -hmm. But there are other little, like, just... Some stuff with the gameplay I really like. And yep. then there are some I don't like the the battles, the agile and strong style. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, the the no switching, changing that up. Mm -hmm. I, I I get it because of the styles. But I think overall I'm going to give this an eight. This okay. is not like you can play this as your first Pokemon game, but this will not fully give you what the series is like. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend playing either Sword and Shield or even the Gen 4 remakes will give you a better better starting point than this. Okay. So my final question for you, Burley, uh, for this uh, episode of Extra Take uh, for Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, what comes next for Pokemon? I mean, uh, are we going to get another uh, holiday release this year? Uh, you know, uh, Will it be another mainline game? What do you think we're going to get? Are we going to get a sequel to Arceus? I mean, what do you think is next? Uh, we're going to get Gen 9. It, it, it ain't going to be this year. 
I think okay. with the pandemic and just getting this out, I think Gen 9 is a little way. We may okay. get some other little spin-off, like a Pokemon Puzzle League kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We could get that this year or next year mm -hmm. to kind of tie things over. I kind of hope they take two to three years, take their time, really develop it. Take stuff from this, like the renaming, the checking of the moves, mm -hmm. and that... If I don't have to go into battle to catch things, if I can be, you know, stealthy, throw items on the ground and chuck my Pokeballs from grass and stuff and catch Pokemon, I like that mechanics. I do like that because it got me to catch a lot more Pokemon than I normally do because I normally catch the ones I need and then catch any for HM slaves in the older games, but there's no HMs in this because right. we don't need them. So right. it's just nice. Like, take mm -hmm. that kind of stuff Bring that into what you're doing with Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. Ma doing the the open... I do like the open world stuff, but I miss stuff from Sword and Shield. Like right. the multiplayer, like of having the little raid dungeons in the outer field. Where I could just go fight a powerful Pokemon, but fight powerful Pokemon and call my buddies or random people. Like the multiplayer aspect in this game is weak. Oh, I, want, okay. I, I, want, I, I want that stuff back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Burley. Yeah, you're you're the expert here for the arena on the Pokemon series. So uh, <laughs> all of you and all of you patrons and everybody that watches this uh, once it goes public, uh, you should go check out Burley's uh, Twitch channel. So uh, Burley was streaming uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and uh, he likes to to stream Pokemon games. So uh, you should follow Burley on his Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Gaming. So, uh, yeah, go and check him out. And, uh, yeah, he's got a lot of video on demands on his Twitch channel for his Pokemon streams. So uh, yeah. please go and check him out. Yes. So, yeah. So this is our new format for uh, the Arena Extra Take. So we hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed, uh, as well as Burley, hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay review of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Of course, this will be going up here on Patreon for the first two days in early access uh, for you patrons. And then it will go uh, up to uh, our YouTube channel once it goes public after that. So uh, yeah, uh, we're excited to bring you more extra take episodes this year. And obviously Burley and I and our other co-host of the arena, multi-platform gaming news podcast, turn-based Carl. I'm sure we'll be doing some episodes together as well. And uh, I'm sure probably Burley and I, our next extra take is going to be something Horizon related, yeah. Burley, most likely. <laughs> because uh, Horizon I, I, I Forbidden thought, West comes out the, next week. The, yeah, the, so. the Elden of the Rick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to be bringing a lot more of these extra takes to you uh, in the near future. So stay tuned for all of those. So uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, we're going to be using this format for the extra take episodes moving forward. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. So uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, all you patrons, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate all your support. And uh, all of you that watch us later uh, when it goes public, uh, video on demand uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, uh, come check out our Patreon as well. So I've been your host, Expat, along with my co-host, Burley of Burleman Gaming on Twitch. We hope to catch you in the next episode of the Arena Extra Take. So take care, everyone. Peace out. Bye.